Hello everybody, welcome back to cdacomputer.tips. My name is Christopher Duncan. And today I'm going to show you an easy way to set up a restaurant menu using tab stops and tab leaders. So here on my screen right now you can see the after and if I click on the line here that says fish sandwich you can see that I've got tab stops in my ruler up here and you can see I have these little dotted lines here between the item and the price. That's called a tab leader. So if you've been using the period to mark these out, the reason why a tab leader is better than that is that it allows you to change the font size without messing up your layout. So for example, I can select these two lines and I'll just change the size to 18 and you can see that it's left all of my spacing the same it's just changed the number of dots between each one. So let's scroll down here and look at the before and let's talk about how to make this all happen. It's actually very easy. Of course, as with everything in Microsoft Word, we're going to start by selecting the text we want to change. And now here in the paragraph group on the Home tab, I'm going to click on the dialog box launcher. Here on the dialog box launcher, I've got the paragraph window with the tabs button. So I'm going to click on tabs. And now you can see I've got three different parts here. I've got the tab stop position at the top. I've got the alignment section in the middle. And then I've got the leader at the bottom. So the first tab I want to insert is at three inches. I want it to be right aligned. And I want it to have those dot, dot, dots. So I'll click on set. Now the next one I want is that R in the middle of the column, so I'll type 3.25 at the top. I'll click the bar alignment and then click on set. Now we need to jump to the next column, so I'll add another one at 3.5, left alignment with no leader, and click on set. And then finally I'll add my last tab stop at 6.5 with a right alignment and a number two tab leader and click on set. Now when I click on OK, you can easily see everything lines up exactly like I advertised it would. And if I turn on the show hide invisible button at the top here, you can actually see where I've pressed the tab key and that's what's caused all this stuff to line up. Now the real advantage here is that when I click at the end of cheeseburger and I go to add my next line in the restaurant menu. I can just press the enter key and then I'll type chicken sandwich as an example. Gosh, I can't type today. Press the tab key one time. It'll jump out there. I'll type a price of $8.99. And now I'll just go up here and I'll type nachos and press the tab key again and then add the price of $7.50. Remember, these show hide invisibles can always be turned off. They're non-printing characters. I can click on the button again. So as long as I keep hitting the return key or the enter key and just start adding text, I'm going to keep the same format. That's a nice trick. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tip.